without Chris don't wanna be Hey everyone, today I'll be making a Christmas intro using all free apps. These are the apps that you're going to need. So yeah, let's get into it. And I use the movie BG to make cutouts of all of my pictures. So what you want to do is hit upload image. Choose the picture you want to cut out. And then it will remove the background for you. And then all you have to do is hold down and save it. And then I did that for all of my pictures. I'm going to be using Jada Cheese to make this intro. I just screenshotted some of her pictures off Instagram and a couple of her videos. The first thing that we're going to do is go to Fonto. Once we're in Fonto, we're going to hit the camera button. We're going to hit plain images gonna hit any of the top two we're gonna change the ratio to 1 to 80 and 720 then I'm gonna be using a blue color the theme of this intro is like an icy blue so I'm gonna click that I'm gonna hit apply I'm going to hit use and then we're going to save the image. Then we're going to go over to CapCut. Now that we're in CapCut, we're just going to go and select the video I used for the background. We're going to change the format to 16.9 and then we're just going to enlarge the video until it fits the whole screen. We're going to trim off the part where her face is in it. So right about there. And then I'm going to cut. Take off the ending of it. And then we're going to cut it. So before she turns around. And then we're going to hit the speed button. And then we're going to slow down the video. Just a little bit. So that it's long enough. I'm going to slow it down a little more. Then we're going to hit overlay and we're going to use that blue background you just made. So we're going to add the background. We're going to make it fit the whole screen. Extend it into the end of the video. Then we're going to go scroll and turn down the opacity to about 80. I think I'm going to do 80. Then we're going to save that. And then once we save that, we're going to go to Kind Master. So we're going to add the video into Kind Master that we just saved. So we're going to hit the layer. We're going to hit sticker. Then we're going to hit light garland. And just choose any light that you like. I'm going to use, I think I used... Did I use this one? No, I use this one. Then we're just gonna fit it so that it's long enough. And then I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so that it fits. Bring it up to the top. And then we're just gonna save that. I saved mine in 1080 60. Now we're going to go to Pixart so that we can find some stickers to add into our background. I'm going to hit the plus button. Then we're going to scroll down and we're going to use the transparent background. Then we're going to hit the sticker button. And we're just going to search for ornaments. And just pick any ornament that you think is cute or goes with your theme or your pictures. I can't find the exact one that I use, but here is one that's similar. So you can use this one, but for the video that y'all saw in the beginning, I used this one. 
and then I went to the effects I went to colors and then I changed the color to blue to match the color theme I'm gonna save that and then once we save that we're gonna go back to CapCut now that we're in CapCut we're gonna hit overlay and then we're gonna add the photo we just saved from Pixar I'm going to place it in both of the top corners. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Then we're just going to copy it. Then we're going to go to edit and we're going to flip it. We're going to hit the mirror button and put it in the other corner then we're gonna add another overlay and we're gonna add the photos that I screenshotted and then we're gonna go back to Pixar because I forgot to add a border then we're gonna add the two photos that I used of her for the first clip then we're just gonna add a border around her body well a shadow a white shadow I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up and turn the blur to about 50 and then I'm going to do that for both two photos and save that. Now that we added a border to both photos, we're going to go back to CapCut. We're going to add them. I'm going to put both of them off to the left side. I'm going to move this ornament up a little bit just so you can see it. Then I'm going to add an effect. I'm going to go to bling. And I'm going to use the mini stars too. Now we're going to add animations. I'm going to use the slide up. I'm going to put it on one second. And it should look something like this. Now we're going to go over to Canva and we're going to add her name. Once we're in Canva, we're going to hit the video option. Then we're going to hit the upload media and upload the video that we just made in CapCut. Now we're going to have to resize the video so it covers the whole background. I use the position button to help me center it. Okay, now that it's centered, we're going to make sure it looks fine. Okay, great. Now we're going to add text. We're going to use a sparkle. I'm going to change the color to white. And we're just going to write her name. And just move it to wherever you would like it to be. Then we're going to add an animation to it. I'm going to use the typewriter effect, but you can use any effect that you would like. Now we're going to save it. After you save that, we're going to go into Vita. Add the video. Then we're going to go to this one next to the heart we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna use these snowflakes we're gonna put one in the middle 
one in this corner one in this corner then we're going to keep it small and put it in the blank spaces then just extend all the stickers and this is how it should look and that is the first clip and we're finished with that so moving on to the second clip so for the second clip we're going to need to go back to stickers and pixar and we're going to search for some more christmas ornaments Here is the one I used, so you're going to save that to your phone. Then we're going to go back to stickers, and we're going to search up Icicle. And here is the one I used, so we're going to save that to our phone as well. Then we're going to go back to stickers, and we're going to type in white frame. You can use any frame you want, but this is the one I used. Now that we have the frame, we're going to go to effects. We're going to go to colors. We're going to go to this blue. We're going to click it and then we're going to hit the adjust button. And we're going to fade it to like a light blue. like probably 60 now we're gonna hit apply and then we're gonna hit add photo and we're gonna add the photo that you want to use inside of it then we're gonna crop the photo and we're just gonna fit it into the frame hit the layer button and hit move down then we're going to save it. Then I'm going to use another photo. We're going to crop it again, just like the last one. Now we're going to make our Instagram button. So we're going to go to add photo and we're just going to add a black background. Any black background will work. We're going to go to sticker and we're going to search white Instagram logo. And then you're going to want to go to Google and Google a silver glitter background. Any silver glitter background will work. This is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to flip it. Make it cover the whole logo. Then we're going to hit blend. We're going to hit multiply. And then we're going to save the image. Then we're going to go to the app magic eraser. Now that we're in the app, we're going to hit photo, use the photo that we just made, then we're just going to cut out the background and save it. Now we can go back to CapCut. For the background, you're going to want to screen record your Instagram, then we're going to change the format to 16.9. And we're gonna trim it and I'm gonna make it about six seconds then we're gonna hit overlay then we're gonna add the same photo we made in Fonto I'm gonna change the opacity to 75 then we're gonna hit add overlay we're going to add our icicles. Just put it in the middle. Then we're going to add our ornaments. And I'm going to put the ornament in the corner on both sides. So I'm going to copy it and bring it down. And then turn it the other way. Okay, so now, once you save the video from CapCut, we're gonna go to Vita. 
Then we're gonna go to stickers. We're gonna scroll and click the tab next to the heart. Then we're gonna scroll down and click the falling glitter. And we're gonna add this four times on top of the icicle to give it like a glitter effect. Then you're going to want to extend the clips. And this is what it should look like. Now we're going to save that and then go back to CapQuest so that we can add in our pictures and the Instagram logo. So we're going to add the video again. Then we're going to use our cutouts from Move BG. And I just added a white border to the picture just like I did in the first clip. And I'm put that down in the corner. And then I just added a white shadow to the picture and I did that for all of the pictures in the second clip. I'm gonna move this picture to the bottom corner. So I'm gonna add two full body pictures. bring the first photo to the front and move it over a little bit make it a little bigger then I'm going to add the two photos that we made in Pixar I'm gonna send this photo to the back. Don't forget to extend all of your clips so that they're the same length. And then we're gonna add an effect. We're gonna go to bling. We're gonna add mini stars three. And then we're going to go and add one more overlay. We're going to add the Instagram logo that we made. And we're going to have to crop it a little bit. I'm going to place it like right here between her legs. Now we're going to add animations. For the picture on the right, I'm going to use slide left for 8 seconds. For the two full body pictures, I'm going to use slide right for also 8 seconds. For the two frame photos, I'm going to do, I think I used zoom in, yeah, zoom in for 8 seconds. And then for the logo, I'm going to use flip. for six seconds. 
and this is what it should look like. So we're going to add the video that we just saved into Canva and we're going to resize the video so that it covers the whole screen. We don't want any of the white background peeking through. And then we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did in the first clip and we're going to add her name using the sparkle. And we're going to change the color to white. I'm going to change the font to this one. I want to type her Instagram handle. I'm going to change the font size and just increase it until you get it to the size that you want. Move it down to the bottom. See how that looks. I want to make mine a little smaller. Okay. And now I'm going to add another text on top of it. I'm going to click add a subheading. I'm going to do a dark blue. For the font, I'm going to do moon time. And then I'm just going to retype her handle. Increase the font size. And then put it on the bottom. And then I'm going to add animation to both of them. For the back one, I'm going to use fade. And then for the top one, I'm going to use typewriter. And this is what it should look like. After we save that, we're going to go back to CapCut for the final part of the second clip. So we're going to add the video to CapCut and then we're going to go to effects. We're going to scroll until we get to nature and we're going to use snowfall. And this is what the second clip should look like completed. Now we're going to move on to the third and final clip. For the last clip, we're going to go into Vita. And then we're going to go to image and we're going to use that blue background that we made in Fonto. I'm going to go to ratio and hit 169. We're going to extend this to like five seconds then we're going to go to effects we're going to go to the particles and we're going to use twinkle 2 then we're going to hit the more and we're going to hit stickers then we're going to go to the jiffy or giffy and we're going to type in a christmas tree And this is the one I use. We're going to do two of them. And we're just going to have them off to the side. So we're going to save this and then go back to CapCut. Actually, before we go back to CapCut, we're going to go back to Pixar and we're going to go to YouTube also. Go to stickers, then search snow globe. And 
And I think this is the one that I used. So you're gonna save that. Then you're gonna go to YouTube and search Christmas green screen. And scroll down until you find this video. So we're gonna add the video that we just saved from Vita and the cap cut. I'm gonna delete the ending and we're gonna add an overlay. We're gonna add the snow globe and make it big. Then we're gonna add the video that I screen recorded from her Instagram. Then we're gonna go to mask and we're gonna hit the circle then we're gonna make it as big as we can and get her face in it then we're gonna make the circle the same size as the snow globe then we're gonna go to layers and hit one and we're gonna want it to look like that she's inside the snow globe And just trim the beginning. And this is what it should look like. So we're gonna save this and then we're gonna go into Vita. We're gonna add the video. Then we're gonna use the screen recording of the YouTube video. Then we're gonna go to chroma key and then we're gonna pick the green and we're gonna go to intensity and just keep sliding until you can't see any green. Then we're gonna crop the sides and the bottom. And then move it down below the snow globe. Then I'm gonna trim the video into the end. Then I'm gonna go to speed and I'm gonna slow it down. Then I'm gonna go to sticker. Then I'm gonna go to the recording tab. Then I'm gonna scroll down until I get to the cursor. I'm gonna make it smaller. Then move it. And then I'm going to go to Effect. Then I'm going to scroll down to Winter. And then I'm going to do Frozen. all for the final clip now we're gonna save this and then we're gonna go back to CapCut and we're gonna add all three clips together now that we're in CapCut we're gonna add all the three videos and then for the transition we're gonna click the little white box in between the videos then I'm gonna go to effects and then I'm gonna scroll until I get to ice and I'm going to do the same effect. I'm going to make this 5 seconds. 
I want to make this five seconds. And I'm going to make this. Three point eight seconds. Okay, for the first clip, I forgot to add the clip with the snowflake, so I went back and replaced that. And then for the last clip, I'm gonna add an effect. I'm gonna go to blend, and I'm gonna add the mini stars three just to give it like an extra little something. I also forgot to add the clips with the snow effect for the second and the third. So I'm just going to add them now. And this is how it should look when you're finished. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.